you know, there are hundreds of different supplements out there that you could take. So this improves your cognition, this improves your longevity, this helps with weight loss. What? Truth is that most of them don't really have that many benefits or they're not worth it in terms of the cost or the benefits that you get. And uh, that's why I made this video to talk about the, the five supplements that are actually worthwhile to take for longevity. Do it. So number one is going to be collagen peptides. I know many people think that collagen is a scam or it's hyped up much bigger than it actually is. But when uh, you actually look at the studies, then there are dozens of human studies showing that collagen supplementation with collagen peptides improves skin health, improves uh, skin elasticity, reduces wrinkles moisturization and uh, just yeah helps with many aspects of skin aging besides that there are also many benefits of collagen peptides on the joints tendons and ligaments so it improves symptoms of osteoarthritis and uh, just uh, joint pain and those kind of things your body does make collagen but the amounts are quite small and you don't nearly get that many precursors for collagen synthesis that are needed for making collagen endogenously and uh, that's why Getting like a good quality collagen peptide supplement is a great way to cover the basis of covering your daily requirements for collagen synthesis and getting the collagen precursors. Number two is going to be my favorite supplement is glycine and uh, glycine besides helping with uh, collagen synthesis and being a part of collagen, one third of collagen is glycine. Glycine alone also has independent effects uh, or, you know, it has a lot of benefits besides the collagen uh, turnover. So glycine is also helping with uh, glutathione production, heme synthesis, creatine synthesis, and bile, bile salts. Research about glycine shows that it helps to lower blood sugar, it lowers your body temperature, which is good for sleep and exercise performance, it helps sleep quality, it's an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain that mimics effects of GABA, so it calms down you, it helps with sleep and relaxes you, and on top of it, it has been also found to have life extension effects in uh, rodents by mimicking methionine restriction. Now, you also may be wondering why take glycine if you're already getting some glycine from collagen. Well, like I said, only one third of collagen is glycine. And uh, if you take, let's say, 10 to 15 grams of collagen a day, then you're going to get three grams of glycine, which would only cover your bare essential requirements for glutathione and the creatine synthesis. But for optimal collagen turnover and the other benefits, then you need at least 10 grams of more glycine and uh, yeah again glycine is very cheap it's very sweet it's tasty and uh, it has a lot of these health benefits that uh, don't seemingly have any like even like negative side effects in studies where they've taken 90 grams of glycine a day they haven't found any negative side effects even so yeah it's perfectly safe it has many health benefits and i think pretty much everyone should take it at least in some amounts if you want to learn more about collagen and glycine and their role in optimal health and longevity, then check out my new book with Dr. James DeNecco Antonio called The Collagen Cure on Amazon. Number three is going to be creatine. So this is the number one sports performance uh, supplement in the world, uh, which has been also acknowledged by different sports associations, international sports associations. They say that, yes, creatine has all these benefits for muscle strength, muscle speed, muscle mass, and just overall sports performance and uh, that's why it's considered like this pretty much the most effective uh, sports supplement uh, out there it has a long history of research it has you know by now probably like you know hundreds of uh, studies showing that it uh, has these effects and besides that creatine also has longevity benefits because of you know it helps with your muscle strength and muscle mass which are critical for pretty much slowing down aging in your elderly years creatine also has cognitive effects it can be considered a nootropic your brain requires creatine and uh, creatine is also involved with methylation most people aren't getting enough creatine because to get the optimal amount of three to five grams of creatine per day then you would need to eat like one kilogram of meat or something like that and uh, yeah the creatine synthesis goes down with age and uh, you do lack a lot of the precursors uh, for that number four is nac so uh, nac and acetylcysteine is also a glutathione precursor and combined with glycine it has been shown to extend the lifespan of uh, mice by 24 percent so this glycine nac combo glynac uh, this is actually pretty a uh, powerful effect in terms of boosting the glutathione and uh, helping to bolster against pretty much the oxidative stress that you experience uh, with aging. This is the reason I put NAC into this list. It's the combo of the glycine and NAC that has been found to have these um, research benefits for longevity and NAC also has other effects on the immune system. And last on this list is niacinamide or NAM and this is a form of niacin that uh, is actually one of the 
best NAD boosters. It's the cheapest NAD booster because it feeds into the salvage pathway of uh, producing NAD. You always want to have the NAD salvage pathway working properly. It doesn't matter how much NAD boosters you take, it doesn't matter how much NMN you take, or the NAD IV even, if your NAD salvage pathway isn't working properly, because all the NAD that you produce from either supplemental sources or from your body itself goes back into the salvage pathway. And in order to keep making the NAD to recycle it, you need to have the salvage pathway working properly. And niacinamide pretty much feeds the salvage pathway and helps you to boost NAD uh, levels. Niacin is it's somewhat different from uh, niacin, which causes the flush. Niacinamide is the non-flush version. And it, uh, the main reason I put this into this list is because it's uh, yeah the cheapest and pretty much most fundamental uh, NAD booster that you want to take, and it's uh, pretty cheap. All right, that's it for this list. If you want to learn more about the different supplements that I take, then check out my free list at seamland.com forward slash supplements, and you can get a free PDF. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seam. Stay optimized, stay empowered.